we're getting ready to preach. But you made a way. Made yes, sir. But there was no way. You were way maker. You made a way. I just want to preach from a subject today entitled, Tell the Lord, Thank You. Y'all going to help me preach a little while? Tell the Lord, Thank You. Tell the Lord, Thank You. Tell the Lord, Thank You. Friends, several years ago, I was told that God had two wheels. He had a perfect will, but he also had a submissive will. Yeah. Pastor explained that God's two wills uh, were privy to all people. His perfect will was one that we should all submit to. Yes. According to this preacher, God's perfect will is what he really desires for all of his people. How God wants his people to live and the rules that they must be governed by, according to this preacher, is outlined in his perfect will. Amen. On the contrary, the preacher said that God's submissive will has lead way. A person can go down a path that is not exactly right and God will allow it. He will allow you to have some things and go some places. Not that he really wants you to have those things or go there, but he will simply allow it because that is his submissive will. Think on that. A perfect will and 
a submissive will. Now, now, I, I didn't come up with that understanding, and I can't say that I agree with it personally because it suggests to me that God has no distinct standard. It suggests that God is making things up as he goes. It almost makes me think that God is bipolar. Y'all helping me today? Because uh, having a perfect will and a submissive will is no definitive way for us to please the Lord. And we know that God is not unstable. So then the question must be asked, what is the will of God? Ask your neighbor, what is the will of God? We have all heard of the will of God and most of us, without really knowing what God's will is, we can say today, I want to be in the will of God. Ricky Dillon once wrote a song that says, God's will is what I want. I'll do what you want me to do. Say what you want me to say. Go where you want me to go because God's will is what I want for my life. Mr. Jerry, if I gave him the mic today, he would sing a song by men of standard that says, I won't give up and I won't give in. I'm holding on till the end. I will be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in you. Lord, I promise I'm staying in your will. Friends, we all want to be in the will of God, but I gotta ask you a question today. What is God's will? Grandmama told us to stay with the Lord and to stay in the will of God. The old church mothers would caution us and say, don't do that, baby. You need to stay in the will of God. And now today, the preacher's here again telling us to stay in the will of God. But I hear somebody in the back of the church saying, how can I stay in his will when I don't know what his will is? Ask your neighbor, what is the will of God? What is the will of God? How can I stay in something when I don't know his will? Somebody said, I'm not a preacher. Don't care about preaching. Don't want to preach. What is God's will for me? Somebody said, I can't sing a note, can't hold a tune in the bottom of the barrel. So what is God's will for me? If you're like me, I don't usher, don't like waiting on folk, not passing out teacher, not handing out fans. So what is God's will for me? Ask somebody one more time. What what is God's will for me? I don't answer. You might get all kinds of answers today. But, 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 friends, the truth is, catch this, God's will for each of us is the same. It has nothing to do with our calling. It has nothing to do with our gift. He is not measuring our steadfastness by the talents you offer in the Sunday service. That's not the determination of being in God's will. Why? Because not all of us have a gift that should be displayed in church. But our main scripture text, Lord, preach a little while, it tells us what the will of God is. The Bible says, in everything, give thanks. Why? For this is the will of God. To be in the will of God, friends, you must submit to giving God thanks. Somebody ought to tell you, Lord, thank you. That is the will of God. Thanking him kept us in all things. Not some things, not half the things, not minor things, not big things, but give God thanks in all things. Lord, help me preach. Good things, you ought to tell them thank you. Bad things, you ought to tell them thank you. In hell and high water, you ought to tell them thank you. Oh, sunny days, tell them thank you. Rainy nights, tell them thank you. On flowery beds of ease and when all hell has broke loose, you ought to tell God. That says in everything, give thanks. Why? For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. This is how we, friends, remain in the will of God. By being thankful. Thankful over the small things. Thankful over the great things. Thankful for every mountaintop. But thankful for every valley. 
low. Thankful for every uphill and thankful for every downward slope. We got to learn as the people of God just to be thankful, thankful all around, thankful in and out, thankful coming and going, thankful in our uprising, in, in our down setting, in everything gives thanks. This is the will of God. Friends, it seems so simple. But the truth is, catch this, folk come to church. Uh -huh. And they even walk around in their homes like God's done them a faith. Yeah, yeah like, 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 you know, don't you know who I am, God? <laughs> you have to do that for me. And don't, don't you know who my people are? Don't, don't you know the, the, who I am in the community? Baby, God don't owe you anything. God doesn't have to bless you. He doesn't have to turn things around for you. Amen. You need to get rid of that spirit of entitlement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God doesn't have to do anything for us. And the Apostle Paul, think he tells us that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Men will be lovers of their own selves, curvaceous, boasters, pride, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, and catch this, unthankful. Yes, yes, yes. We are living in a time when men are unthankful. We walk around with all our good stuff. Walking around thinking we're all that in a bag of chips. Yeah, help me preach a little while. We, we walk around, amen, with all of our blessings without a sense of gratitude. But the Lord told me to remind somebody of our obligation. We need to tell the Lord. Thank you. Can I walk a little bit today for waking me up this morning? Thank you for starting me on my way. Thank you for the usage and activity of all my limbs. Thank you for giving me another chance to be in the house of the Lord. Thank you for letting me sing one more time. Thank you. Catch this for every blessing. Thank you for every miracle. Thank you for every deliverance. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for your husband. Thank you for friends and loved ones. Somebody ought to tell the Lord. Thank you. Sometimes you got to learn how to say thank you. Yes. Like you mean it. Y'all hear what I said? I said, sometimes you got to say thank you like you mean it. Amen. Have you ever been going down the road and just thought about some things that the Lord brought you through? Amen. And somehow or another, the sanctuary hit your car. Hallelujah. In your hands, you don't even know how you was getting down the road. Tears streaming down your face. Hands lifted. Jesus was driving the car because all you could say. Some people, Sister Down, have always had it nice. Mm -hmm. Watch out, man. You can tell the people that have always had it nice because they come to church and patty cake God. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. You know, they got little nice, dainty praises. Yeah, you, know? Yeah. you know, when they start shouting, they can grab the chair in front of them and, you know, just, but then there's others of us. Come on, yeah. Come on help me preach a little while. That, that, that have been through the rock. Yeah. That have been up the rough side of the mountain. When come to church. We wear back like we lost our mind and say Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I thank you for what you brought me. There are some of us I'm, 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 try, I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying to hold it together I'm trying, but there are some of us that when we say thank you there's a story behind the thank you. There's a testimony behind the thank you. Some of us, when we say thank you, what it really means if it had not been for the Lord who was on us. You see, I've learned, I've learned, I've learned, Sister Lee, I've learned. I've learned that, that, that sometimes, and I'm preaching, sometimes you got to go into a thank you fit. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for this and that. Don't have to preach a little 
you out. Thank you because I'm here. Thank you because I've been over there. Thank you because I've gone everywhere. Thank you for eyes to see. Thank you for legs to walk. Thank you for a tongue to talk. Thank you for a mind.
and said, Lord, I just want to thank you. You didn't have to do it.
part of your sins. Would you give your life to him? Would you give your life to him? You might say, Pastor, I'm already saved, but somewhere along the line, I'm sure. I quit trusting him. I quit believing in him. You can rededicate your life to the Lord. Would you be one? Church to plant myself. Is there one? Come to Jesus. It's prayer time. Come to Jesus. Come Let's give God 
thanks for their blessing. If you thank God for what he's doing for them, he'll turn it around for you. It's offering time in the sanctuary. We give after the word because we give in response to the word. We pray that the word was a blessing to you. Today is our first Sunday. On the first Sunday of every month, we give our first fruit offering. First fruit is an additional gift you give to the Lord to bless your month. Amen. Brother Jerry is going to have our tithing in this uh, receptacle. Then he'll get the basket for our first fruit. Three ways today. You can give by Cash App, Rivers of Life 2, capital R, capital O, capital L, and the number 2, Rivers of Life 2. Or you can give your gift of any amount and text it to 910-335-8663. Again, that number is 910-335-8663. Lastly, you can go to our Facebook page. Click on the Easy Time link there. You can give as well. Those of us in the sanctuary, before you click that sin button, I want to pray for your gift. I want to pray that the Lord will bless you real good. That you will never go lacking. Yeah. Uh oh, I got one amen. I said that you will never go lacking. Yeah. That God will give you abundant supply. Yeah. Even when you get down to your last, yeah. unexpected means will come your way. Yeah. Anybody going to believe God for that? Yeah. Father, thank you for every gift that we'll give. Father, we pray now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will bless these gifts. Yeah. You said that the man that gave sparingly would sparingly reap, but they that gave it bountifully shall reap also bountifully. We don't give grudgingly nor necessity, for we know you love a cheerful giver. Bless us now, God, and we shall be blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. And everyone said, Amen. amen. Come on, bring your gifts to the Lord, your first fruit offering. Amen. Then your regular offering. Come on, bring them in the house of the Lord.